Oh. <laughs> Peace. Use the force, folks. How you doing? All right. So, in a hierarchical structure, built off of greed, dominance, greed and dominance, how can we have a healthy psychology? How can our group psychology be healthy? I just don't think it is and I don't think it can. Um, that's not to say that we're all fucked up or that we're all crazy or that any of that. Because most people I know are fucking nice people. Doesn't mean that their psychology is that healthy. You know, um, I'm not perfect. I don't live a perfect life. But I did spend a significant amount of time getting my mind into a place where it's either easily malleable for me to do, not other people, or that it doesn't generate the bullshit that some un, unmaintained minds, you know, it's like a garden, you know, you can just let it do its thing and nature will be beautiful. But, and, and that is that I do, so I saw a video by someone called Ralph Smart, right? And it's not just one, I'll, I'll watch his videos, I think he's awesome, right? Um, and, you know, he, he basically just, it's just the, the, the basics of just quieting the mind down, you know, so that you're not overstressed and all of that and it's beautiful and and he's really entertaining and great um but i sort of i just i know there's a deeper level because i've gone there <laughs> you know i don't have like this overactive mind that's like fucking oh and i'm fighting with it and shit there's none of that um but i'm aware of like past that initial level of just um my camera looks like it's wonky let's not have that we don't want to have that do we we don't want a, we don't want a wonky camera do we folks that'll be done so anyway there's a deeper level right so once you've got your mind quiet and you're cool and 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 you're not like oh you're not just reacting or overacting you know you are at a place where you have conscious thought conscious choice right that's a powerful spot to be in you know um i truly believe in manifestation i truly believe in the power of drawing opportunities to you so that you can make the action to achieve what you want right um i love this wolf hat oh love it right um but as i said it goes deeper because what i've noticed in in a lot of circles because you know i don't always just spend all my time in front of the computer making music and crafting my art um is that actually that stage is great but it doesn't deal with the deeper issues of the hierarchical society you know education and there's different levels to that right because if you've been educated in the main just in in uh, uh what what do they even call it just the standard education right you've been to downlands or you've been to bloody whatever secondary school or whatever you, you know um but if you've had a private education that's different they actually educate you differently Right? There's a real difference. They're setting them people up to be up there. They're the managers and above. Like not, man I mean, like owners and you know, mainstream school, the cattle school, teach us to be the worker bees because in a hierarchical structure, you've got to have the worker bees holding the bloody damn thing up. Real talk. So we're just talking about hierarchical psychology, right? And, um, you know, I learnt to do NLP on myself, Neuro Linguistics Programming, 
just just reprogramming the mind, right? If you find if you find the root cause of something, right? I'm not talking about like your mind that's you know do the chatter chatter. That your mind's always working. You can't stop your mind from working. Real talk. I know that. I've known that for a long time. You know, I'm not just regurgitating things I hear. What I say is based off of my actual experience with life and my mind. You know, I hear validation on some things from some people, like Ralph Smart is epic. You know, the things he says, most of it for me is like awesome validation. You know, when I was 24, I had um, a conversation with him. NLP practitioner, neuro linguistic programming, right? And you know, she was really impressed. She was asking me to quote who I'd read and blah blah blah. And I hadn't read anything. This is all internal work. And I realised that actually you can come to the same conclusions, you can come to the same ends without having to go through academia and get a certificate to say that um, the system approves of you. So, but my point is is that once you get to the point where you've got your mind quiet enough, right, through like meditation, and what you do is you stop all the... How to say it? How to say it? It's you bring a certain level of calm to yourself. And in that space, you find out, you can find out who you are, right? But... um it's the deeper part, right? Because all of that, right? Like Ralph said the other day, he said, um, don't fight your mind, just let it do its thing, right? I didn't disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. But um, that's early stages. That's early stages. And then once you have done that, right? And you are then the observer, Right, you then have the option to be the developer. So at that point, you can really craft whatever you like. Because once you've got into your mind and you are fully observing it, honestly, right, you then see things that you're like, mm, mm. you know, I mentioned the other day something about my dad. You know, because if he'd have had the phone call I'd have had, that poor guy on the end of the phone would have got his ear torn off, chewed off. That would have been emailing. You know, we have the choice to, once we are observing, right? Yeah, you can just accept who you are. Awesome, do that. But what I'm saying is we're raised in a society with a sick psychology. So there's actually some root things that we can pull out we can find where our cause of it is or what it is. Or even if you just analyse it and you don't like it, you can then basically move it. Chuck it in a bin. It's gone. It's not as simple as let me just grab that and pick that. There's, you know, the system to doing it. You know, like I've said in other videos on my self-progression page, right, is that you can, you can take a bit of time, use visualisation and repetitiveness right and once you get that set in your mind you know i always say do it at night i think it's a great time for it right but basically you want to find something you you attach a, a strong positive uh, image and message to the thing that you want to change and then you bring in the thing that you want to do and you put your focus onto that thing you want to do right so you know what you want to change you've got the positive thing attached to it and then you really focus on to where you want to go Right, and during the day, your mind will give you triggers at times on the things you want to change. Right, and then you simply act on that. And as you move forward, that thing just dissipates and the thing that you are aiming at is there. Right, so you can just ignore things and carry on. Um, you can ignore me and carry on all you like. <laughs> but I want a society where people aren't riddled with judgment you know some of my family members are amazing people but they're so judgmental because they've been raised in it and if we're honest with ourselves most of us are judgmental you know i believe that in this society 
it does take some maintenance to keep your mind in line. You know, because of the because of the bombardment. There's no fucking happy land. I don't live in happy land. Most days I wake up alright at the moment because I stopped smoking weed. I haven't drunk alcohol for years. I'm not using any class A's as any dependency. Uh, co um, codependent codependency where's the words I want um, as a coping mechanism I'm not doing any of that I'm sober and it's a lot easier to um, maintain but I still get hit by society and how people are acting that are on autopilot you know so when you get off of autopilot or, or more to the point you become aware of autopilot you can then just simply reprogram some things that make it easier moving forward. It doesn't stop anything. Bad doesn't stop happening. Good doesn't stop happening. You know, thank you, because Ralph triggered a story in my head that I wanted to tell, and I wondered when it would come out, and here it is. So there's this great, uh, I think it's an old, I want to say like an old Chinese proverb, right? So the, the village farmer, and his son, right? They um they find these wild horses, right? And and one of them takes a liking to the to the farmer's son. They take a couple of them back. They feel all the villagers are like, "Oh, isn't that really good? You've, you've got some free horses. That's amazing." And uh, and the farmer was like, "Yeah, maybe." And I'm like, "Well, that's great." So then the next day. The boy's out on his horse and he's riding. Yeah, he's loving it. And he falls off his horse and he breaks his leg. And the villagers are like, oh my God, that's terrible, isn't it? Oh, it's really bad. And the farmer's just like, mm, maybe. Next day, the military come through and they're enlisting anyone over the age of 14 that can fight. The farmer's son's 15. The farmer's son's got a broken leg. They leave him to it. All the villagers are like, oh my God, isn't that lucky? And the farmer's like, oh, isn't that great? And the farmer's like, maybe. Because what is good and what is bad? Well, what's good for you could be bad for me. What seems good today could not be so good tomorrow. So really, it's, it's, it's like a, a freeing of constraints of the mind you know um and, and and i think when you when you bear things like that in mind it really helps with the early stages of just freeing yourself from expectations and from you know shit that you know we all have to face every day so i have a lot of respect for ralph smart um if any of you uh enjoy he is definitely, like, his approach is definitely from the spiritual world. You know, uh, the type of teachings he teaches is definitely more of the sort of spiritual kind, which is awesome. I just think that um, mainstream teachings, spiritual teachings, and what we learn ourselves is the way forward. Because, you know, I want to trigger new thoughts. Is that even possible? Some in the spiritual realm would argue that's not possible. I think creation is ever happening. We are creative beings in our souls. You know, you believe what you like, but I believe we come from source consciousness and I believe therefore we are all a piece of source consciousness. That is creation happening right there. That's what I believe, right? You can believe what you like. <laughs> there ain't no rules around here. But, um, you know, I believe the psychology of society is sick and it's pretty easy to see. And what I have noticed through my observations, right, over the last 20 odd years, right, consciously observing society and the people, is that unless we get into the root causes and pull them out, then colonial minds will only make colonial 
uh, solutions, which is no solution at all. So I'm going to keep this under 15 minutes. Use of force, positive mental attitude. Peace in.